what's up guys it's me blackwing and we're back with our second movie review for spider-man and we are going to be looking at spider-man 2 and as i watched this movie many a times i know why people say this is like the best one out of the three because it really is because i which i'll get to that sooner so spider-man 2 came out in 2004 you have this of course the same cast toby mcguire as spider-man peter parker Kirsten Dunst as Mary Jane Watson, James Franco as <clears throat> um, Harry Osborn, Rosemary Harris as Aunt May, J.K. Simmons as J. Jonah Jameson, and for the new cast, well not new cast, if I just, you have Alfred, I might butcher his name a little bit, Alfred Molina, Molina as Dr. Oc, Doc Ock, you have Dylan Baker as Dr. Kirk Connors, and you have um daniel gillies as john jameson who pretty much is um jameson's son so before i explain of why i said this movie was probably the best in this movie i mean one of the best out of the three it's because you dive deeper into peter and how he's being um not being i'll say yes he's being hated as an icon of a, as a hero being criticized because not only he's suffering from a hero standpoint but as as a character himself because mj was being like a huge jerk to him in this movie no matter how many times he would try to explain his feelings for her i mean just look at him i mean after um his birthday um he goes out to take the trash and mj's still there and then they're talking to each other he tried he tries his best to let out his feelings but he couldn't <laughs> And then MJ leaves, and then she says, I'm seeing someone. I'm like, ooh. <laughs> he just, his demeanor just changed. I'm like, oh, um, <clears throat> that's, that's really good. <laughs> I'm like, wow, just wow. Because he, he's been in love with P, um, MJ for so long, and he tries to let out his feelings, but he knows he can't because he realized the consequences if he tells her, his true feelings, and if he tells her he's Spider-Man and everything is going to go amok. But MJ didn't understand anything that he was trying to do. No matter how many times he tried, he he wanted to go to her play. He couldn't make it. He missed it. And then she got mad. And then he actually goes to her play, and then he tries to talk to her, and she thinks he's going to talk to her out of getting married, to, um, married to um, um, Jameson's son, which... I don't know if she did that to make make him jealous, but it was just it was just dull. But man, MJ was such a jerk. I, I I'm sorry, MJ was really such a jerk in this movie. I just she was so mean to Peter. So oh my gosh, this is not my pet peeve in this movie, but it's just that's what really hit me the most. Just you know, super with superhero movies, guy becomes a superhero, falls in love with the girl. Guy saves the girl, guys the guy gets the girl. That's pretty much that's pretty much how it goes, if in my opinion. But Jane Harry Osborne in this movie, of course, having a huge vendetta against Spider Man in the last I'm sorry I didn't mention the in the last review for Spider Man after Green Goblin commits suicide so so much. And now he um Harry has a vendetta against Spider Man. He wants him dead, he wants him crushed. And then, and when he realizes that Peter, his best friend, is Spider-Man, he just comes to shock. I'm like, no, Peter, no way. And then he just, he's just shocked to realize that your own best friend is the person that you think killed your father, but he didn't. And then having that whole hallucination with Willem Dafoe reprising his role as Norman Osborn in the mirror. That was brilliant, by the way. And pretty much for those who don't know, Willem Dafoe actually came up with the idea for um, him to show up in the, you know, in the mirror, have that scene with Harry, and s saying, you know, AVENGE ME! <laughs> but it was perfect. And now, Doc Ock in this movie, oh my gosh. You know how in certain superhero movies, they really... The villain has a main threat. Um, possesses a threat to, um... To the plot. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Whew. So, pretty much, before um, Doc 
um Octavius became Doc Ock, all his dream was, you know, to create a perfect world by creating, you know, new energy with fusion. And um the accident goes wrong and now the arms take over. The arms are like speaking to him in his into his mind and everything. So he recreates the experiment. And yet this time it's a lot crazier. It almost sucks up almost half of New York, almost of New York, but barely. And he sees the error of his ways and he just tries to destroy the experiment that he created, which he does. In doing so, it drags him all the way down to the bottom of the ocean. Of course, we already know he's probably dead at that point. And I just gotta say, but for Peter, he really suffered. He pretty much suffered a lot in this movie. And the iconic part was after he quit, he decides to quit being Spider-Man, shows that epic shot of him being in the alley, putting the suit in the trash can, and just walks, and it shows that epic cover from one of the Spider-Man comics, and that was so beautiful. That was so beautiful to look at. And for him to think he, after he, well, he doesn't have pretty much control of his powers anymore, he actually tries to resume doing hero work by saving a child from a fire, but he realizes that even without his powers, he can't do the things that he could do. So, that was... This film really showed... It really hit the ball hard a lot. From the character's uprising to his downfall to where he felt the most weakest. It just... It, it was perfect. It, it was perfect. And... I'm gonna be real with you guys. I'm not gonna give this movie a 5 out of 5, okay? I, I give this movie, this movie itself, a 4.5 out of 5. Because there's no such thing as perfect movies, okay? Movies are not always... Nothing is ever perfect, okay? And, oh, also, another thing I forgot to mention. The soundtrack, the score of, this, um, of these films. Danny Elfman does a brilliant job. For those who don't know who Danny Elfman is, Danny Elfman is the person who did the score for the Bat for Batman and Batman Returns. He did a brilliant job with those films. He did a brilliant job with doing the score for the Spider-Man movies. It just it felt so perfect. And but yeah, Spider-Man 2, I give it a 4.5 out of 5. Now in the comment section below, tell me what did you enjoy most about um Spider-Man 2. Oh, I know another thing that I forgot to mention. <laughs> Mr. Dickovich. He was the... He was... Him and Jameson, of course, were another bunch of comedians in this movie. Um, where... After Jameson notices that, you know, Doc Ock becomes a new villain in town, he tries to, you know, come up with a new name. Of, he's like, Hoffman? What are we gonna call this guy? Um, Dr. Octopus. No. Uh, um, Mr. Tentacles? <laughs> Trash. Dr. Strange. That's actually pretty good. But it's taken! <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute, I got it. Dr. Octopus. I like it. Of course you do. What are you waiting for? A raise? Get out of here. <laughs> the way he treats his employees is just so hilarious. J.K. Simmons portrays Jameson in the most comedic way possible and so perfectly. And he, especially the way he treats Peter and how he said, Parker, you're fired. I'm like, why would you fire and then you rehire him again? This is like, if I were to have a, I would not want to have Jameson as my boss. But then again, I, I would want to. But then, plus there's those times where he talks down to employees, and I would probably be the person to come at him hard with a, with a comment that he will probably never want to speak to me ever again. So I would regret having Jameson as a boss and Mr. Dickovich in this movie. <laughs> He keeps asking Peter, Peter for rent, and he's like, rent? He's like, hi, what is hi? Can I spend it? Oh, and don't try to sneak behind me again. I have ears like cat, eyes like rodent. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. This, it was, this movie was hilarious in every way. But... Yeah, that's my review for Spider-Man 2. I gave it a 4.5 out of 5. In the comment section below, tell me what did you guys think of Spider-Man 2. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and stay tuned for my review of Spider-Man 3. And until then, I am Vengeance, I am Darkness, I am Blackwing. Stay golden.